What are the different types of force? There are basically two types of force, namely force of contact and force at a distance. Force of contact. Mechanical forces are those in which the objects are in contact with each other. For example, when you kick a ball, your foot touches the ball. In all the cases of push, pull, stretch and squeeze, force is applied by actually touching the body. Force at a distance. Forces which do not involve physical contact between two objects but act through the space between them are called action at a distance force. Forces like gravity, magnetism and electricity act without contact among objects. A few important types of force are discussed here. Muscular force. All animals and human beings use their muscles to do work. The muscles exert a force that brings about motion. A push or a pull can also change the speed of motion. Muscular force can also change the shape of bodies. Gravitational force. This is a pull or force of attraction exerted by one body on another. It is this pull of the sun that keeps the planets in orbit. The gravitational force of the earth attracts objects towards it. That is why the ball that is thrown up returns to earth. When the coin is released, it falls to the ground under the influence of gravitational force. Electrostatic force. Bring a plastic comb close to a heap of small pieces of paper. Nothing extraordinary happens. Now run the comb repeatedly through your hair. Bring the comb close to small pieces of paper. You will see the paper rise and stick to the comb. This force of attraction that develops when certain objects are rubbed against each other is called the electrostatic force. Magnetic force. Bring a magnet near iron balls. The balls are pulled towards the magnet and stick to it. This invisible force that is set up between the magnet and the iron is called the magnetic force. Friction and frictional force. Roll a ball on open ground. The ball soon comes to halt even though you do not see an obstruction in its path. Give the swing a push. It begins to move to and fro. Gradually it slows down. It eventually stops completely even though you do not touch it. In both cases, a force has opposed the motion of the ball and the swing and caused them to stop moving. The ball is stopped by the ground and the swing is stopped by the air. This is due to friction between the surfaces of the ball and the ground and of the swing and the air.